I'm about to start with the beginning. The, this, this is the thing I didn't like to start off, for starters, okay? What the hell were we thinking before a tip-off? Like, what the hell was we fucking thinking? You had LeBron James, everybody dapping it up. What the hell was that? Like, like literally, what the hell was that? See, it, 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 I, I, look, look, look. Look, I realize LeBron James been in the league forever, okay, and uh, I, I he's always been that happy-go-lucky guy, you know, showing other people love, and I get that. But damn it, when you put on that purple and gold, there's no fucking dapping it up, showing love to anybody in that fucking Celtics uniform. None. When you put on that Lakers uniform, it is your responsibility to know the history, to know who we hate to know who hates us and the celtics are our biggest rival ever in the history of the nba ever you don't be out there dapping it up and hugging and 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 and, and saying good game and smiling and and, and having conversations like y'all you know family and all. fuck all that fuck all that that was number one Number two, we played like complete shit the whole first half. We did not lead at all until probably the fourth. We did not lead the game at all. And uh, this, is, this is the thing I hate. Teams, it's not just the Celtics, all right, at all. Teams play the Lakers, they just elevate their game magically. Jason Tatum with 7 for 20 against the Clippers. Now, granted, that probably because they have better defenders, I get that. But he was still went seven for 20 against the Clippers. He come against the Lakers and scored damn near 50 on a back-to-back -back night. Somebody who's in the MVP conversation played back-to-back -back nights. Take notes, Lakers. You want to sit out LeBron James. You want to sit out Anthony Davis on back-to-backs when you got other MVP candidates playing all the games. We could have had an extra win on the road, but y'all decided to sit LeBron James down because it was a back-to-back. -back. But we have an MVP caliber, Jason Tatum, playing all the games he could. It makes no sense. Like, it makes no sense at all. Like, I don't, that's number two. That's number two. Anthony Davis, you had a great game. You had, you had a great game for the most part. You did. You did. But this is the second time that you went to the free throw line and you did not seal the deal in the clutch. This is the second time, I believe, in a row because you did it against Philly. Teams are going to start game planning around you now about you know, your, your clutchness. They're they going to start game planning and saying you can't hit free throws in the clutch. So what they going to do? They're going to do that hack-a-shack. There's going to be a lot of hack-a-shack going on with AD now. But before I get into all of that, one thing that's pissing me off, it's been happening all goddamn year. Layups. Why in the hell are we missing layups? That's like the easiest shot in the goddamn game. Why are we missing layups? Why? We became so comfortable with the jump shot that we forgot how to make layups. Like, it, it's... <sighs> Just imagine what our record would look like if we made all our goddamn layups. We miss more layups than we miss jump shots. It, it's, it's crazy. Like to actually sit here and think that we make more jump shots than layup attempts. Like it, it's, it's crazy. 
Patrick Beverly missed two layups yesterday that was wide open. Why are we missing layups? Just when I was talking in good spirits about, about Patrick Beverly, he misses two layups wide open. One of them was a great pass from Russell Westbrook, and he blew that. Then you got Anthony Davis, like I talked about earlier. Missing clutch free throw. Not, not, he didn't miss one, he missed both. If he would have even hit one, that would have been good enough to win the game. But no, we going to overtime. We went on a 35-2 run in the fourth quarter and still lost. Tomorrow's the day where, you know, teams can start trading. And uh, I hope we make some moves and not show these headlines. Oh, the Lakers are interested in this guy. Or oh, the Lakers are interested. I'm tired of all that. I'm tired of all of that. Stop being interested and just do. Just do. I'm tired of this. Oh, Lakers are interested in him. Lakers are interested in trading for him. Lakers in serious talks with them. No, y'all not. No, y'all not. No, y'all not. Because nothing ever happens. Serious talk to my motherfucking ass. We need to get rid of the dead weight and get better. JTA, Kendrick Nunn, Damian Jones. Try to package them up or try to uh, trade one or two of them and see what we can get. You, you never know how desperate a team can be. People say, oh, who's going to want them? Who's going to? You never know who's going to want them. They're still NBA players at the end of the day. People do get hurt. They can fill a roster spot. It's not about who wants them or who, who's going to take them. Any team will take them. Especially with all these injuries and, 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 and health and safety protocols adding up. They're, they're going to come in and fill a roster spot. Even if they at the end of the bench, they're going to fill a roster spot just in case one of those two things happen or both. We need to make something happen. This is ridiculous. Shout out to uh, ZSPN. Um, I was on his channel last night. Uh, he said he was going to um, watch the video. And sh also shout out to him because he... Uh, he subscribed and also shout out to the new subscriber Jacqueline from last night. Uh, shout out to Lakers and Five for sending her over here. Uh, appreciate all of y'all, man. Shout out to everybody that's always supporting the channel. Um, also, uh, if you want to follow me for non-basketball related purposes, um, the link to my other channel is going to be in the description as well as the merchandise store. So check all that out. Um, I will be wearing my merchandise soon. I just got my hoodies in the mail yesterday along with my hat. So I will be wearing that in future videos. So yeah, y'all, uh, this has been your boy, Angry Lakers fan, representing Lakers World Order and the Laker Nation X, one half of the Big Angry Show. And uh, I'll see y'all on the next one, man.